In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a very, very solid A-gap pressure out of the Baltimore Ravens defensive playbook. This can be found in several different defensive playbooks. We're going to focus on out of the Baltimore playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you're new to my YouTube channel, what I do is I post four times a day here on my channel tips, strategies, videos like this that are designed to help you get better at Madden NFL 21. And so if you're wanting to get better in Madden, one of the things I want to ask you to do right as we get started here is to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom of the page and turn on the notifications. I think you can do that uh, after you click subscribe. There's a little three uh, arrow button there. Turn on the notifications because what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to be notified whenever we post a new video tip breakdown and you won't want to miss them. Again, we post a lot here on the channel, post four times a day, and we also live stream every single night to kind of break down these tips in real time and also to be able to answer questions. Now, everybody's asking, you know, how do you get pressure in Madden 21 post patch? How do you get really solid pressure um, that you can utilize that's really going to be effective? Well, I'm going to show you here, uh, and again, this is a very, very basic pressure, but it comes to us from the nickel 245 formation, and you're going to call the play Buck Slant 3. Buck Slant 3 has always been one of the best pressures in the beginning of the year, and I think it's even better this year. So we're going to go over it here, call Buck Slant 3, and all you're going to do is you're going to base a line. You're going to press your coverage. You're going to crash your defensive line to the left, slant them to the left. So you see it's going to turn their blitz angles this direction right here. And then I'm just going to zone um, that left of, or right of screen defensive end wherever I want him to go. Most of the time it's going to be in a purple zone. And what you're going to see here is you're going to get instant pressure either through the B gap or through the A gap. A lot of times you're gonna find in practice mode, I've been getting more B gap pressure. In regs, head to head match, I've been getting more um, A gap pressure. You see, sometimes it will come from the edge, but this is a simple five man pressure that in my opinion, it's always gonna work, okay? It's always gonna work. Um, never gonna not work for you. Sometimes it's gonna come uh, from different directions. As you see right there, we get that quick disengage and we're gonna get that A-gap pressure uh, that we love. Now, again, if you wanna get really good A-gap pressure, one of the things I do wanna encourage you to do is to make sure you have a fast defensive tackle in that position. I got Chase Winovich here on the Patriots, but you see here, most of the time um, you're gonna see in practice mode, like I said, you're gonna get more edge pressure from this. But you're also, when you go into game mode, you are going to get A-gap pressure. I'm telling you right now, this is the concept. If you want to get some really, really, really good, solid pressure um, in Madden 21, especially with the way the game is going right now, this right here, this overload blitzing concept right here, this is the setup. Again, it's from nickel 245. As you see right now, we're getting some edge heat. But what I'll do here is I'll just run one play with me running a different uh, coverage. So we'll just run uh, cover three and we'll run a standard pressure to the right side here. Um, just standard pressure here, nothing too crazy. And we're going to come back in and show you this pressure one more time. So all we're going to do again is we're going to base a line. That's really important. It's going to move that defensive tackle to the left. We're going to press coverage. We're going to crash our line to the left. And then we're going to zone that right of screen defensive end out. And you're going to see here, you're going to get that edge or that A-gap pressure. The A-gap kind of wants to come in. And honestly, you might even want a little bit of a slower guy there than Chase Winovich. But most of the time, I find in game, you want as fast as humanly possible in that position. Um, and you're going to see this is just going to be a phenomenal pressure for you. Uh, that time, I think we accidentally pinched our linebackers. But this pressure is very, very consistent. Again, if it doesn't come through the A-gap, what that means is they've probably done something. Uh, the AI is starting to adapt, and you're going to be able to get the edge pressure. So you're either going to get the A-gap pressure or you're going to get the edge pressure. That time we got B-gap pressure uh, and got nano detected, but you won't get that in the games. So anyways, guys, nickel 245, buck slant 3. Just wanted to get this out. This is another great blitz. Uh, in Madden 21 right now that you can utilize to be very effective because again, this is very, very simple. You can mix this in with a pretty solid man-to-man -man scheme. As you see right here, now I'm in man-to-man -man coverage and just sitting four and you're gonna see, you know, we're gonna be decent coverage all across the board there. Uh, so you kind of mix this in with some of your other nickel uh, 245 
coverage schemes. That's one of the main reasons I love 245 this year. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, maybe this helped you out. If this did help you out, what I want to ask you to do right now is to consider joining my community Discord. My Discord is uh, an awesome place for you to grow and to continue to improve and also for you to help other people grow um, because it's a community platform. It's a platform where everybody can chat with each other. We have different topics, different channels where you can talk about different things. We also have a channel completely devoted to um, labbing, per personal lab partners, giving you um, the opportunity to connect with a whole community. And so if you're looking at something like that, looking really to try to improve or to help other people improve, uh, in my opinion, my Discord can really help you accomplish that because there's a saying that it goes and I really, really believe this is true. You are the average of the five people that you associate with most. And so just by association, you will become guilty by association. You start associating with better Madden players. You start associating with people that are committed to growing and improving in this game. It is going to help you get that much better. It's helped me get better. I believe it's also going to help you get better as well. So make sure you join the Discord. That link is in the description of this video. We're going to go ahead and jump off, guys. But go ahead and make sure you're subscribed because we've got more videos coming for you today. We also have some videos that are going to come up on your screen right now that you can check out.